Hello everybody, my name is Will and welcome back to Flyout Community Creations. This is episode 7 and uh, we're starting out with uh, th this thing. So this is the uh, ARX-67A, it's an unmanned drone kind of thing. And this was designed by um, Black Nov X M 6 er I'm just gonna go with November. <laughs> We should be able to shoot some things down, because I believe we have some missiles clipped into here. I'm not going to turn the camera the other way, uh, for reasons that you know uh, who made this, and no one else does. <laughs> okay, so here we are on the runway, and for some reason, the right-hand side has a bunch of flaps up. Now, they do say flight stick recommended, uh, but I don't have a flight stick, so <laughs> this, could be, this could be a little bit challenging to fly, but we're going to give it a shot anyway, and fingers crossed we're a-okay. It looks like those are controlled by the flyby wire, so hopefully uh, we should be okay once we actually get going. Um, but uh, I don't want to take off a little bit too soon in this thing. I think now we're it's feeling like it wants to take off. Yeah, there we go. That's all right. That's not too bad. Uh, give it a little bit of trim, maybe. Okay. Flaps in. Perfect. There we go. Right. We are now a go. So they say this thing can reach uh, Mach point 0.9. I'm presuming that's not completely on the deck, but uh, we're gonna give it a we're gonna give it a shot. Okay, so it looks like we are actually capping out about point 0.9 on sea level, which I didn't expect. I thought that would be a little bit higher altitude we'd hit that, but uh, fair enough. I'll take that. And uh, the fly-by-wire is doing some really funky stuff <laughs> just to keep this thing from slipping side to side, as we obviously don't have a uh, tail to do that. So I'm I'm quite impressed with that, I've got to admit. Okay, we're closing in pretty rapidly here. Now, a couple of you said it was F to fire missiles alone. Um, and I'd like to try that, but every time I press F, it does nothing. <laughs> I don't know if this is just me. I'm I am hammering F right now. It, it does nothing, so we're just going to use space again, because I've still not worked out why I can't fire IR missiles alone. I don't think we have any guns on this one, so it doesn't really matter. But, I mean, yeah, that was easy. <laughs> uh, tanks, though. Maybe... Uh, you know what? Why not? Let's up the ante. Why don't we go for some SAMs? Okay, they have a couple of missiles out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to head down to the deck, and I am going to try and get them to smash into the mountains uh, and hopefully that means we will have a much easier time overall attacking this sam because that's already two of i believe only four missiles they get that did not work i don't know how it survived that i completely my brain was like oh for some reason the distance on the sam was like distance to the ground of course it isn't <laughs> It's obviously distance to my plane. I have no idea how we're alive right now, to be entirely honest. Okay, we've built some altitude up, so hopefully... Yep, there we go. We get a lock, and we'll drop one. We're going to close in a little bit more, and we will drop the second, and then we can return to the airfield. And this thing shouldn't be too bad to land, because it's quite, it's quite comfortable at flying, actually. I don't really know what the uh, recommended flight stick was for. Okay, we've got the drone headed back to base. I believe if I hit... Uh, F1, there we go. We can see this is the SAM that fired at us. It's used all of its, uh, used all of its missiles up, so it's got nothing it can do. <laughs> and there's some grim inevitability about this, isn't there? Here come the missiles. Ah, <laughs> oh, that is good fun. Okay, in we come for landing after what has no right in being a successful, uh, <laughs> mission after I was uh, hit by an air-to-air -air missile. Uh, no, ground-to-air missile, that's the one. Uh, Surface-to-air is, I believe, the phrase. <laughs> Goodness me. I I'm really struggling with the old brain box today, but uh, regardless, it was a success <laughs> in spite of myself. Uh, and hopefully we can bring her in for a clean landing here, which I don't think is going to be too much of a challenge. I say that, and then immediately nearly smash it into the floor. But there we go. <laughs> Perfectly successful, uh, with absolutely no hitches whatsoever. Next up, we have an F-104G Starfighter. Uh, this is the interceptor version with a couple of IR missiles, so we can hopefully shoot down a couple of target drones here. Uh, and this was built for us by Lore... Lore Bore? Lore Bore? I don't know. Um, but hopefully we can uh, get off the ground with this thing, because I know these things can be a little bit on the treacherous side. <laughs> 
Okay, here we are on the runway, and I believe this thing can take a little while to take off, especially with these massive pylons, so uh, we're gonna see <laughs> if we can take off before the end of the runway, but, um, you know, don't hold your breath, and uh, for all intents and purposes, we might be here for a little while, so, uh, you know, get comfortable, uh, get yourself a cup of tea, maybe, uh, maybe a cup of coffee if that's more to your likings, couple of biscuits, maybe a rich tea, um, maybe even a nice biscuit. Uh, maybe even call your mum. Let her know how you're doing. How, how are you getting along? You struggling with anything lately? She'll want to know. Uh, I'm struggling to keep it on the runway, but uh, I hope your mum's well. Here we go. Come on, up into the air. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. I believe, I, I somewhat believe, we've come up We've come off the runway, just not really vertically, mostly horizontally. Come on, here we go. Up into the air, up into the air. Ooh, no, 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 no. I went out of F2, and that was a mistake. Uh, we need pitch trim. We need pitch trim real bad uh, in order to keep the nose of this thing up. There we go. <laughs> we finally got our trim right. We can start thinking about bringing the flaps back in and retracting the gear. Oh, there we go. It's off the ground. <laughs> All good. We're, we're okay. We're okay. Right. Um, so, with a plane like this, uh, obviously it's going to be a lot quicker without all of this kit, but we are going to go for a speed test on the deck, then we're going to climb it to high altitude, and then I think we'll drop the tanks and we'll try to shoot things down, just because... I think the run is going to expend all of the fuel in these drop tanks, so <laughs> we're probably going to need it for our top speed run, even though it might hurt the performance quite a lot. Okay, I think we've roughly hit the realistic top speed we're going to hit on the deck here. We are very, very steadily accelerating, but it's not rapid, so we're going to we're gonna call it at 1.1, 1 .1, uh, then we're going to gain some altitude, and I'm going to go for about 10,000 meters, and we're going to see how fast we can go when we have the proper altitude for this kind of a plane, uh, and we should be able to hit 10,000 meters, yeah, before you can really say the, the word 10,000 meters, the climb rate on these things tends to be uh, pretty good. <laughs> Okay, we were at about 10,000 meters. Uh, as we regain our speed here, we have so little lift that we're kind of losing it again here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drop these tanks, and finally, we can actually stretch our legs without being weighed down by those, because at this altitude, we're a lot more efficient, and that'll help us uh, neutralize this altitude loss a little bit sooner, but we will probably have to start flaring up a little bit. Okay, as we cross over the runway here, we're only at about Mach 1.1, which, uh, it feels a little slow, actually. Uh, maybe just me, maybe I'm not giving it long enough. This feels a little slower than the real thing, but, uh, yeah, why not? Let's, uh, let's just shoot them some things down. I'm bored now. <laughs> I neglected to consider the fact that the target drones would spawn at the altitude I am at. I was hoping they would spawn a little bit lower, so now we have a bunch of basically in-space target drones to shoot down. There goes one IR missile. That should find its target. There's nothing particularly that makes me think it wouldn't. There we go. Nice. I'll take that. Okay, we're closing in on the second drone, and I can confirm flying this thing with the imbalance of one of the missiles missing is absolutely horrific. <laughs> we'll, we'll rectify that by firing another one, hopefully, uh, if we can ever catch up to this target drone, that is. There you go. Right, finally. I feel like I can control the plane again. <laughs> Oh, goodness me. I mean, that missile's probably going to miss, but uh, it was well worth getting rid of. <laughs> Just for the simple fact I didn't want to have to deal with it anymore. And yeah, that's missed. But yeah, we got two more where that came from. <laughs> Go on, guys. You can do it. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> okay, this time we can try and not miss horrendously, maybe. That'd be nice. Uh, this is not the most accurate Vulcan I've ever seen. <laughs> Uh, come on. Someone hit him. Feels like I'm not too far off from hitting him, maybe? There we go. 
<laughs> one of those made contact. I'm trying to lead for landing here, but I want to just show how much condensation comes off these air brakes when you hit them. <laughs> oh my lord, that is, uh, yeah, that's, that's acrobatic smoke right there. <laughs> it's barely condensation. Speedy approaches kind of necessary, otherwise it's just gonna fall out of the sky, and at the end, I think we're actually not even that speedy. I'm even gonna stop with the air brakes, because, uh, I think these things stall not too far from here, if I'm not mistaken. And there we go, touchdown on the runway. Luckily, we have plenty of tarmac. Because <laughs> it is not particularly good at stopping, is what I'm currently learning. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> <laughs> yep, there we go. It is eventually going to stop, I think. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Hmm. Uh, yeah, there we go. And that was what? Only... Only two-thirds of the runway, so it could be a lot worse, really. <laughs> Going back in time a little bit, but not as much as you initially might expect, we have the ME-262. Uh, it's a very good looking replica of an ME-262 built by Mr. McMuffin Jr. Uh, so yeah, let's let's give it a fly. It looks like we've got a, a fairly detailed interior as well, and uh, I'm excited for this one. I love the ME-262. Oh, 262. There we go. Got it. <laughs> Okie dokie. So we can press Y here, I think. No, it's not Y. It's U. Y is a surprise in inverted commas. Uh oh. Uh, hopefully I've not ruined the surprise. I don't see anything. So I pressed it again and hopefully it's undone. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever Y does. And yeah. Uh, no reason to stall any longer. Let's just take her off. Why not? Okay. That's not exactly how I expected this to go. Uh, we did a wheelie. And it... it what the... Oh. Okay. That feels strange. We're in the air. <laughs> That's not exactly how I expected this to go. Um, let's pop into first person here and... Uh, ooh, look at that. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Okay, we're going about 980 at the moment. And uh, we don't seem to be accelerating any further. And that is... That's quicker, I believe, than the real 262. So it looks like we've got a couple more beans going on. Now, let's find out, what is this surprise? If I hit Y? Ah, I see. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we can fold in and out a holographic uh, gun sight. I thought that might, I thought that might be why it was to the side, but uh, I didn't want to, didn't want to lie. And oh, look at that. I just thought like, what if that goes because of the canopy? And it does. That's, oh, that's amazing. I like that a lot. <laughs> okay, we're going to do a speed run up here at about 4,000 meters, and then we'll have an opportunity to use some very, uh, presumably slow velocity 30 mils because it says, and I quote, period accurate cannons, which will probably mean they fire with all of the force of a pancake getting tossed. Okay, fair enough. Uh, I mean, it's not afterburning, and it's early jet engine technology, so we're going about the same speed. Uh, let's just get a target drone spawned in and uh, get ourselves a gun kill, shall we? Where is the target? Oh, there it is! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this could take a while to catch up to. That's not the angle I wanted him to be at. Okay, we're coming in for a gun run. I've never fired these cannons before, so uh, yeah, just a little bit of an estimate of where they're going to end up. We're going to have to lead quite a long way with these, uh, so I'm going to guess about there maybe. Any luck? No, that's, I mean, we're so close. Surely there we <laughs> <laughs> basically fired all of the 30 mils and dumped them right into them from about two meters away but you know what a kill is a kill let's <laughs> let's bring her into land okay here we are leading for landing this should be quite easy there's a lot of lift going on in this thing uh, i don't think we're gonna have too many challenges depends if we have brakes or not <laughs> uh fingers crossed they've not you know already burnt out and down we go. There we go. Yeah, the brakes are pretty good, actually. We should be stopped by the end of this runway. No real problem. 
I did that for flair. Yeah. I <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's surprisingly okay after that, actually. Next up, we have this just <laughs> insane looking uh, Warhammer Orc Daka Turbo thing jet. It's so cool looking, and also there was so much work put into loading in the head of an orc here, and it's not quite loaded in correctly. I believe if I restart my game, it would work. However,. This is almost funnier, so we're just, <laughs> we're just gonna roll with this. We got a couple of guns up here, big old 32 mils, loads more on the wings, including these massive rotary cannons, which I don't even know how big they are. Bombs, missiles, why not, honestly? Okay, here we are on the runway, and this thing is... <sighs> it's just so cool. <laughs> I don't even know how, like, and then the, why is this engine pulsing? <laughs> how have you even managed to make it do that? Is it meant to do that? And the asymmetry of the left engine and the right, this is amazing. I love this. I love this so much. <laughs> and it's seriously accelerating quickly, given how, uh, yeah, not quite aerodynamic it is. Oh, the misfiring jet engine, the pulse jets on the wings with the rotary cannons. We've broken the sound barrier somehow. <laughs> in a plane with an open canopy, that cannot be comfortable for whoever is inside. <laughs> I, I, I just want to get to shooting some things down. So we have uh, 11 32mm guns on this thing, just all over the place. As well as these outer missiles here, these kind of orange ones. They are, uh, they're functional, so... <laughs> We're gonna shoot something down with one of these, uh, orc missiles here, and I am so excited to see them flying off into the distance. There goes one. <laughs> it's amazing! That's so cool. I love that so much. And then these are AGMs, these ones closer to the interior of the wing, so we can also take down a tank or two. Uh, and I wanna see... How far can we go with these? Three kilometers, I feel like, is rough for an IR missile, but because it's encased, it's, I, I think it's got less drag, so it goes quicker. And yeah, they, <laughs> there you go. No problem. Uh, and a couple tanks, why not? As we head over to get our tanks, we also have another target drone in the way, which we'll try and take out with the 32mm cannons, and I'll just try and not gawk at this thing much more than I already am. Oh, this is, like, my favorite thing ever. I love this so much. I... <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord, uh, the rudder is so in the way as I try and get this pass on the drone here, but we should still be able to pull it off. Uh, they all apparently fire at different rates, these 32s, and I don't know what the muzzle velocity is like, but it looks pretty good. There we go. Uh, that wasn't my worst shooting ever. It wasn't great, but, you know, it <laughs> could have been a lot worse. And uh, finally, we can just drop these AGMs. I, I feel like I've got a lot of destruction out of my system in a very short space of time. And given that I'm flying an orc fighter, very fitting. <laughs> There's one AGM out and we'll fire another one. And then we can start heading back to base and we should be able to uh, watch those missiles come in from the POV of the tanks. If this wants to get a lock for me, come on, come on. There we go, that, that'll do the job. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Took a while, but there you go. We watched it just about get- Ooh! Uh... Uh... Um... That was strange. <laughs> okay! We were under the terrain for a second there. Let's just bring this in for a landing and will move on. I, I, I've got enough blood out of my system, I think. <laughs> I think it goes without saying, this is one of my favorite things I've ever seen anyone make. And, oh my lord, I've had good fun flying this. <laughs> <laughs> so as we come in for landing here, uh, we don't have any air brakes, uh, and the reason provided for that is because slowing down is overrated. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll see... <laughs> We'll see how that plays out in landing, but uh, I, I think we should be okay. 
I'm feeling not very orcish at the moment because we've actually slowed down more than sufficiently. Uh, I'm having to turn the engines on to pick up a bit more speed to land, which uh, doesn't feel like the vibe with this aircraft, but go on. Ooh, stalled it. Stalled it there. Uh, however, <laughs> we have touched down, and um, I'm not going to make you sit through this entire braking procedure because I feel like this might take a while. <laughs> I've ended up doing a skid to slow it down. <laughs> There we go. It stopped, eventually. A perfect run, as far as an orc aircraft goes. It didn't explode in midair. And what can possibly top that, you say? A submarine? Maybe? Why not? <laughs> this was built by uh, KPS Z KPSWZG uh, on my Discord server. And, uh, yep, this is pretty much the embodiment of chaos occurring towards the end of these episodes. I swear, the order I do these is alphabetical. I didn't pick this order. It's just kind of happened. <laughs> so we got four jet engines, uh, two on either wing, and then a big fan at the back, which is meant to be the propeller, I believe. Uh, and it is struggling to pull off the ground, probably because it's a submarine. Obviously, you can see we've got quite the large cannon on the front of this thing. So, there's that. It's not the most rapid firing in the world, but, you know, it is a deck gun after all. It's not really meant to be <laughs> fighter engagements. Uh, and I think if I press J, uh, we also open up a torpedo bay in which we have a couple of uh, air-to-air -air missiles. So, that's not bad at all. Uh, and then H apparently opens the door, which is... Like, that's a unique place for a submarine's door, ultimately. Uh, a little bit difficult once you're in the water to get in and out of, but uh, given the size of this submarine is, yeah, not vast, then I'm not hugely surprised <laughs> that that's impractical. Shall we see if we can shoot down a target drone? It's not very quick, but uh, we might just about be able to shoot one down if we're lucky. Okay, we got a couple that have spawned close. I'm going to hit J to open the weapons bays. Select the IR missiles. Get a lock here. Surely there's one. We're going to hold off on the second one until we know whether that one's going to hit. It looks good. There you go. An air-to-air -air kill for a submarine. This is almost like the time that the USS Barb uh, destroyed a train. <laughs> Real story. But yeah, uh, I mean, other than that... It's a submarine. It's uh, it's not the quickest thing in the world. I, I can't imagine it would break the sound barrier. And, uh, uh, yeah. I mean, I guess we'll try and land the submarine now? It does have landing gear, so why not? I was going to say something along the lines of, like, how do you even come up with this? But to be entirely honest, I don't think creativity is the part of this that is the impressive thing. You've just kind of put wings on a submarine. But I, I have to appreciate coming up with the idea and then still having the willpower and the lack of sanity to go ahead with it. <laughs> and that is not an insult. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm keeping the speed quite high here as we lead for landing because I'm imagining the stall speed is not exactly grand. Uh... <laughs> It's a submarine. You know, I, I do keep saying it, but it's an important point to stress, ultimately. And that is uh, definitely to be taken into account while you're landing. We're getting a little bit of a... Uh, yeah, stalling on those front canards. And ooh, a bit of a rough landing. But honestly, given the other landings in this video, that's honestly one of the better ones. <laughs> And it's got the best brakes we've seen in a while. Maybe we can use this uh, big old cannon on top to slow down as well. Which seems to make absolutely no noise, which is quite impressive. Oh, there you go. But unfortunately, that's all the time we have for today. So I really hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, if you did, please leave a like, comment, and or subscribe. And uh, I will see you in the future for more stuff like this. And uh, more stuff less like this. 
Bye. And as always, a huge thanks to this channel's patrons, Ambrose, Kevin, John, 135, Cody, N, Digi, Pete, Skavoon, Gamata929, Sad Cat, Jack Not Angra, Just Casual, T601, Last Edge 11, Mildly Investor, Nicholas K, Relax Panda, Rolls' Bucket, Ryan Brody, Ryan Brody, Shook 3, Terra, The Kinesian Emperor, Worth Sickle, Zerashime, and Zite Wolverine. Thank you so much for your support.